So what in the world could possibly make me get out of bed to come to get a cash on a day like this? How about a three, four and a half cash? Oh, why would I want that? I've got 39 of them. But do you have a three, four and a half earth cash? Oh, but no, I don't have a three, four and a half earth cash. Although I know he's got three of them already, the bugger. <laughs> Arnie, Liz Downey, he's coming along for this earth cash. All right. Not too far along the path, we realize we're too far down to the river. The uh, Credit River footpath is actually above us, and we missed the turn. We went down instead of going up. So, back we go. We found the good way now. Hopefully, we're off to a good start once again. Well, whatever you want. <laughs> Looking up ahead there, that's what we've got to go under, and the earth cache is just beyond that. Back in normal life, people do anything. Trekking all this way to the bridge will actually be on the, the same side as the earth cache. We should be on the opposite shore over there, but that's private property. It's hard to get to. And uh, we might not actually be able to see most of the earth cache, but we're going to try to get as close as we can because most people get this one when they're rafting down the river. Of course, it's a little cold to be rafting now. We've already done this section, and this earth cache was added after we had already gone down the ra river with the raft. And uh, there's a link for that right up here. You can check that one out. Our rafting expedition on the credit. And uh, we're getting close. Close, not close enough. Going down is going to be the problem. Came back up is going to be the problem. We'll worry about that later. Okay. We'll worry about uh, getting up later. Just get down, get what we need. So we made it to the cache. We got the answers, but uh, we want to ask. Why this one? We're with uh, Arnie, Liz Downey, and uh, he wanted this one too. Why did you want this one? There's only three in Canada. There's only three of these. Three in all of Canada. There's 72 of them worldwide. Correct. 16 of them are in uh, the U.S. There are four in Mexico and the Caribbean, and only three here in Canada. That's why. This is the closest three, four and a half to us. The other one is Manitoulin Island. Correct. Yeah. Cup and saucer. Cup and saucer. And we're going to go there. So, uh, keep watching Cash Canada. We'll be there at some point. And the other one is uh, east of Abbotsford, somewhere in BC. Correct. So now he's got four with this one. This gives us one more Earth Cash Fizzy square. And now we have 69. And how many do you have? 75. 75 squares filled out of 81. We got some catching up to do. Although we're going on a road trip in the spring and we're going to get two or three there. Great. So we're going to get there. We're going to pass you at some yes, point. Yes. Yeah, so we got Arnie uh, onto this one doing an earth cache fizzy. It's just another way of doing side games. And if you didn't know, Liz Downey was at one point the highest looper for just general fizzies at one point in the entire world. That was and, a long time ago when nobody even thought of doing it. Yeah, and how many do you have now, you think you said? 71, 72, 71. 73, somewhere in there. And our uh, patron, uh, TTO2, uh, Vince and Kathy Rowe, they are now the world leaders with over... 270, 280? 270, yeah, something like that. So, And uh, we're going to watch them on uh, Geocache Talk tonight. And uh, 
Uh, we'll put the uh, link to that one below and you can catch it later if you didn't catch it live. So now we got to hike back. Let's get our asses out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you put that on the video. I like it. We're going to leave it in there. <laughs> Holy doodle! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to explain why I'm doing the Earth Cache Fizzy, but we want uh, Liz Downey to explain what's a fizzy. Why it's called a fizzy. Why is it called a fizzy? It was named after a California cacher by the name of Fizzy Magic, mm -hmm. who is a physicist and a magician. A very brilliant guy who did a lot for the geocaching community out in California. And his friend Kelia, mm -hmm. the guy who started, who placed the first fizzy cache, the California fizzy, with a restricted date of April the 6th, 2007. Yeah. And you've completed that. I've completed fizzy. that. Yep, we've done yeah. that one. We and did that in 2010. So that's another fizzy that you could do. We haven't done it yet. We'll have right. to put the link for that one down below. Yeah. And, that's uh, the original fizzy. That's the that's the one that everybody should do. Yeah. Because it's the toughest to qualify for. So now. that's 81 caches. A regular fizzy now is is filling up your DT grid. 81 Correct. caches, the multiple yeah. variations thereof. Now an earth cache fizzy takes it one step further, and you can do this for any cache type. But an earth cache fizzy is just filling the grid, just with earth caches. Correct. So that's what we're doing. He's at 75. We're at 69, and uh, it is easily doable to 81 in North America or Europe. You can do it. It's challenging though to get it done. That's why I'm doing it because I love earth caches and it's just you know, what are awesome places to go. And it makes it more challenging yeah. on a snowy, <laughs> wet snowy day. Yeah, without rafting down that river. <laughs> Although we I think almost be, rafted. I think, be, I think it'd be easier to raft. <laughs> <laughs> well, we almost rafted a couple times yeah. with a few slips. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> So now you know what a fizzy is. If you hadn't known before, just got to find one of each rating, fill the complete grid. Here's the grid. You know, there's one through five in difficulty and one through five in terrain. And you can look it up on your statistics page. And I think you need to be a premium member to do that. So that's one of the things for your one cup of coffee per month for a year cost of being a premium member. That's one of the things you can do. And then once you continue on with the game, you fill that, what do you do? Well, you fill it again, and then that's called looping. So how many loops of fizzy grids do you have? And then you can branch off to doing a full fizzy grid of just traditionals, or just multis, or what we're doing with just earth caches. And then what do we do when we find all the earth caches and fill a fizzy grid? Well, we do it again. So one of the things we started looking at was doing a virtual fizzy grid. A fizzy grid with just vir virtuals. And it can be done, but it would be extremely, extremely difficult. Unless more difficult uh, combinations are put out with the new virtuals that our people are putting out. Because there are some squares, uh, as four or five of them only have two uh, virtuals in the entire world and they would require uh, boating, uh, rock climbing, mountaineering skills, climbing to get to them. So it's something you can work on. Well that was pretty fun. It yeah. was excellent. Yeah we're glad you came out with us. Uh, it was nice to have Liz Downey with us on the Cash the Canada. Out there. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate yeah. it. It was a challenging walk. Not quite as good as uh, Grand Manan Island. Close. Yeah. <laughs> That was a great adventure. Look for that one right up here. That was awesome. <laughs> one of the best times we've ever been. And My favorite was, of all. Yeah, it was so awesome was having you there. there. So. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take you? you.